Let me just pause for one second, Nicholas, to update the audience. Uh, a tweet coming in from the royal family. The queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The king and the queen consort, meaning Charles and Camilla, will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow with one single black and white photo of Queen Elizabeth, the late Queen Elizabeth. So sad and so so hard to really get your arms around, you know? I mean, she just seemed like, of course, you know she's going to pass. She's only human, but she seemed almost otherworldly, like she, like somehow she would avoid it. And she'd be there for us as this steady ship in the storm for, you know, decades to come. You know, and I'm saddened to hear that because I, unlike some other Americans, I'm a fan of the royal family. I think there's something to be said for the the ritual and the tethering of uh, our culture on certain important hallmarks. It gives us a, a sense of bearing, cultural bearing, societal bearing. And, and I think that's a big part of what's been evaporating. We've lost some of these iconic influences and now they've been replaced by some of the stuff that we were just talking about yes yes that's such a good point you know her class and her dignity and her right. grace and sense of public service and sacrifice of self we're living right. in a world now that's exactly the opposite of that right 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 and and self-centric egocentric um part of what i really try to really raise a red flag about is that some of the values that something somebody like the queen embrace in my book digital madness i wrote about my father who grew up in uh greece during world war ii and saw the nazis destroy his entire village and murder all the adult males in this town and you know my father was an old school greek immigrant from a different time in a different place but he had such a clarity of mind and thought you know when you've gone through the that kind of life when you've seen real war and famine it it crystallizes what's important in life and my father always had that clarity until he died of cancer a couple of years ago and and i feel kind of like you're saying with the queen now we've lost the wisdom of some of our elders that really were giving us this sense of direction and up is down and left is right and male is female and it's all connected i think all of this is sort of creating a mass confusion that's creating this unwellness that we're struggling through um there's no sense of mooring there's no sense of bearing and so people are just i think a lot of the young people that i work with are drifting they they're just feeling empty and they're not and they're confused and i get it i mean we've all been through you know i think all of us who have been through high school have been through any kind of transitional periods in their lives understand what it might be like to be confused and trying to find meaning in the world and it's just not readily available right now because the world right now is a very confusing place yeah, so you you look at Queen Elizabeth and you think there's a woman who understood what duty, honor, right. country means the same way our Marines do. Like she understood it, she lived it, duty, honor, country. And our teens today are focused on this device, which either fits in their pocket or fits on the seat back in front of them, which drives hate, self-loathing, prizes right. victimhood, there's a growing sense of instability and uncertainty in America these days. The price of everything seems to be way up. Food prices especially have the nation reeling. So what if you could grow your own food? Wouldn't that be empowering? Wouldn't that lower your stress level? Let me introduce you to Arc Seed Kits. Love this. Arc Seed Kits is a family-owned and operated business providing heirloom seeds for over 13 years now. Arc Seeds wants to get heirloom seeds into every home in America. 99% of seeds sold today do not have the ability to reproduce. Only heirloom seeds can be harvested and regrown year after year. That's what you get from ARC. ARC's desire to equip every home in America with the ability to grow and harvest its own food led it to create the all-in-one seed kit. This is designed to grow calorie-dense vegetables and fruits to sustain any home at any time. You will even get a seed guide that will give you everything you need to know about growing and harvesting every variety included in the kit. For a limited time, we've partnered with ARC to offer a 10% discount code as well. So if you go to ARC Seed Kits, that's A-R-K, SeedKits.com, and enter MK Seeds, you will get a 10% discount code and be on your way to food and economic security, helping you, your family, 
and your community. Visit ARKARKSeedKits.com to you to order your seed kits today and don't forget to use that code MKSEEDS. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.